The most interesting man on YouTube, True Crime King, is back. Okay, so Koberger just had his second court appearance. We're going to watch it, and we're going to react to it. So, buckle up. Here we go. Walking in, sitting down, here comes the judge. <clears throat> right, good morning, we are on the record. This is cause number CR2922205. This is State of Idaho versus Brian Koberger. Mr. Koberger is in custody. He is appearing here in court with his attorneys, Ms. Taylor, Mr. Logsdon, Mr. Thompson, Ms. Jennings appearing on behalf of the state. This is the time set in the matter for the preliminary hearing status conference. So I am going to inquire of counsel, Ms. Taylor, what's the status at this time? Thank you, Your Honor. We are going to ask the court to set preliminary hearing out into June. We would request the third or fourth week of June and probably four or five days for preliminary hearing. Mr. Koberger understands his right to a timely preliminary hearing and he's willing to waive the timeliness to allow us time to obtain discovery in this case. And be okay, so basically what, what that means is I guess he's just trying to buy more time to uh, come up with a defense and tr somehow try and uh, wiggle his way out of this one, which, in my opinion, is definitely not going to happen. Let's see what the state says. And Mr. Thompson, are you in agreement with that? Uh, the state has no objection to that, Your Honor. Ms. Taylor reached out to us by email yesterday with her proposal. On reflection, the... Uh, the state's calendar would be better in the month of July, but we will make the end of June work if that's the court's preference. And I haven't had a chance to talk to Ms. Taylor about that. I'm sorry, I know that's the last minute. That's okay. Okay, and they, the state probably has no problem with that because this is going to be the biggest case of their lives. And, you know, they want to make sure they have everything lined up, all the evidence, because, you know, this preliminary hearing is when they're going to present all the evidence they have against Koberger. And I'm sure they, they want to get everything right and make sure he's nailed down to the cross. I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. Actually, probably for both sides, you know. And, and for the, the judge probably wants time, too, so... Um, the court's calendar is going to be better towards the end of June, early July. Say. So would that work, Ms. Taylor, for your scheduling on your other matters? Your Honor, yes. If we take that fourth week in June, that's actually best. Okay. So, Mr. Koberger, I need to speak to you for a moment then. Sir, you do understand, and Ms. Taylor has represented here, that she's advised you of your right to have, um, or fully discussed with you, the right that you have, which is to have your preliminary hearing within 14 days of the date that you initially appeared before this court. As you recall, uh, when I advised you of your rights, that hearing is a probable cause hearing where the state has to establish that more likely than not, these felony offenses were committed and you were the one that committed the felony offenses. If you waive your right to a speedy preliminary hearing, it does not mean that you're giving up your right to have a preliminary hearing. It simply means that you would not be able to come back and challenge that the state did not present probable cause within 14 days. Do you understand? Yes. Have you had enough time to speak with Ms. Taylor about your decision to waive your right to a speedy preliminary hearing? Yes. Do you need any additional time to do so? No. Okay, so here's my take. If you were an innocent man, okay, you would you would probably want a speedy trial because, you know, they shouldn't have any evidence against you, right? Because you're fucking innocent, right? But if you're a guilty man, 
that is trying to, uh, you know, act like you're innocent, then you're going to want more time to try and come up with some kind of story of how your DNA got on the sheath and all this bullshit. But an innocent man could just tell the truth. Oh, yeah, uh, my DNA was on the sheath because I was there and this happened and that happened. And that's exactly why the sheath's there. There's no way that I could have killed these girls because I was here or there, right? So, in my opinion, he's a guilty man that is just trying to weasel his way out by buying more time and when trying his, to get his lawyers and him to try and figure out some weaselly snake in the grass way uh, to get out of this somehow, uh, just like OJ got out of his murder, right? But he, yeah, he had, it's a, that's a whole different thing, but. Uh, Then I will ask at this time as to the five counts, felony counts that were charged in the uh, criminal complaint that was filed on December 29th of 2022. Are you waiving your right to a speedy preliminary hearing and agreeing that that hearing can be held outside the 14 day period? Yes. And Ms. Taylor, do you concur with his waiver? I do, Your Honor. Thank you. I will find your waiver of speedy preliminary hearing is knowing, intelligently, voluntarily entered here in open court with the assistance of counsel. We will go ahead and set the matter for a preliminary hearing. Beginning Monday, June 26. Monday, June 26. At 9 o'clock a.m. So oh, we got about five more months until we see Koberger back in court. And there's probably not going to be much, much more evidence coming out at all before then. So it's going to be basically a five-month break of Koberger. I will go ahead and reserve uh, the week, so June 26th to June 30th, in the event that uh, we need all five days for presentation of evidence. They probably are going to need at least a couple of days, hopefully. Oh, man, I would, uh, I would hope the state make sure that they bring in every piece of evidence that they can possibly bring in. And just so council knows, um, it will begin at 9 a.m. each of those days. Is there anything further to address at this time in the case, uh, Mr. Thompson? Uh, not from the state's perspective, Your Honor, no. All right. Or Ms. Taylor? No, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Koberger, then you will be remanded into custody on your same no bail at this point in time. Uh, pending further proceedings, again, we'll send notice out to council, and we will be in recess for this morning. Well, that was a quick one. So, what do you guys think? If you have any uh, opinions, put them down in the comments. If you liked it, hit the like button. And until next time, True Crime King, out.